Hello, and welcome to this episode of Piping Up, presented by the Tabernacle Choir at Temple Square. I'm your host, Luke Howard. These organ concerts stream live from Temple Square every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at noon Mountain Time. You can also watch previous episodes of Piping Up on the Tabernacle Choir's Facebook page and YouTube channel. And more information about this concert series is available at tabchoir.org slash piping up. Today, our organist is Richard Elliott. He opens the concert with the well-known Pomp and Circumstance March No. 1 by Sir Edward Elgar. This music is almost ubiquitous at high school graduation ceremonies in Canada and the United States, which might have surprised Elgar. It's a little early in the school year for that, so let's listen to this music as it was intended, a military march that exemplified the old Victorian notion of war as honorable and glorious.
In terms of capturing the pageantry and spectacle of a military parade, I don't think Elgar's pomp and circumstance march has been topped yet. When J.S. Bach moved to Leipzig in 1723, he started writing a sacred cantata every week. Bach always tried to match the text of the cantata to the Bible readings assigned for the service that day. So the word of God and his own music would work together to edify the congregation. Several decades later, he transcribed for organ a half dozen movements from some of these cantatas, and they were published in a rather lavish edition. They're now known as the Schubler Chorales. Richard Elliott will play next one of these Schubler Chorales, number five, Ach, bleib bei uns, Herr Jesu Christ, or Lord Jesus Christ, with us abide. This is a moment where, in the original cantata, we are invited to liken the scriptures to ourselves. Ach, bleib bei uns, Herr Jesu Christ, was originally written as the third movement of a cantata Bach composed for Easter Monday in 1725. The Bible readings for the service that day included the story of the two disciples on the road to Emmaus. These disciples met a stranger, not recognizing him as the resurrected Christ, and as evening fell, they invited him to remain with them. Abide with us, they said, for it is toward evening, and the day is far spent. That scriptural invitation becomes the premise for the whole cantata, the need for light as darkness approaches, the contrast between belief and unbelief, and the bright guidance that Christ shows to the Christian faithful if we would simply invite him to abide with us. In Catherine Winkworth's 1863 translation, the words of that original chorale make the correlation of the scriptures to our own day explicit. Lord Jesus Christ, with us abide, for round us falls the eventide, nor let thy word, that heavenly light, for us be ever veiled in night. In these last days of sore distress, grant us, dear Lord, true steadfastness that pure we keep till life is spent, thy holy word and sacrament. You hear it all in Bach's music, the walking tempo in the pedals as the disciples walk to Emmaus, their lively conversation in the left hand, and the right hand adding the contemporary commentary of the chorale. Richard Elliott will now play Ach, bleib bei uns, Herr Jesu Christ, BWV 649, and he'll follow that with Robert Kundick's arrangement of the hymn, The King of Love, My Shepherd Is.
Robert Kundick published that serene arrangement of The King of Love My Shepherd Is in 1978 while serving as a tabernacle organist. The text of that hymn is a paraphrase of Psalm 23, so the pastoral arrangement Kundick composed is entirely sympathetic to the words that at least I sing quietly to myself when I hear that melody. Next, we'll hear Richard Elliott's arrangement of the traditional LDS hymn, Come, Come Ye Saints, and he'll follow that with the popular Scottish folk song, Loch Lomond, yet another song that, at least on the surface, tells a heartbreaking tale of faded love.
W. Ralph Driffle was an English composer organist who studied at the Royal Academy of Music during the 1890s. After his sudden and premature death in 1922, Driffle's music was almost completely forgotten. A toccata from his suite for organ number no. one in F minor enjoyed some popularity, but it's not all that well known even among organists. After hearing it now, you might think it should be. Richard Elliott concludes his program with the exhilarating toccata from the suite number no. one by Ralph Driffle.
We hope you enjoyed this episode of Piping Up with Richard Elliott at the Conference Center Organ. Thank you for joining us. You're always welcome to return for the live stream of these concerts every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And previous episodes of Piping Up are also available for on-demand viewing. Piping Up, Organ Concerts at Temple Square, streams on the Tabernacle Choir's website, Facebook page, and YouTube channel, and at broadcasts.churchofjesuschrist.org.